Um, if I if I were to ask you to articulate how you serve the world, the universe, whatever it might be, what what, what would you say? How I serve. Um... And this comes from often we don't know what is our gift that we have to give the world. And so to answer your question, um, I'm, I'm going to use a lot of the words that other people have said to me is, oh, you're an inspiration. What you do is so amazing. Um, you know, the places that you go and, and you're a good writer, you're a good communicator. And so often we don't shine a light or, or really know what our skill set is. And so I've listened to other people and said, okay, well, if, if that's what people resonate with, I don't really understand why, but if that is special to other people, then I have a responsibility to give it back. And so I really am motivated to continue to challenge and push myself on these big expeditions with the focus of bringing the trail and the teachings from the trail back to other people. So to take people to Alaska, to take people down the Ho Chi Minh Trail with me um, in hopes that they're inspired to be outside, to move, um, to listen to nature, to do something really hard, um, or just to see a beautiful part of the world and maybe want to protect it. And so, so how I serve is, is I push myself really hard as an example, but then I bring the stories back um, because the trail absolutely is my teacher. And I have this concept that, that I've named that I call dirt Dharma and dirt Dharma to me is when I am on the dirt, when I am on the trail, my path is really clear and there's clarity, there's focus. I solve all the biggest problems in my head when I'm out in nature, um, moving on the dirt. So so yeah, my mission is to push myself, but to bring that back to, to everybody else. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> and do you, I, I, so I find, here's what I find. And, yeah. and I hadn't done this either, is that not a lot of people can say, what is their personal mission statement? You know, what is, what is their goal? And, and a lot of, every company will have a, a vision statement, a mission mm -hmm. statement, but very few humans have done that. And, and I've sort of gone through that exercise myself. Um, do you have, have you done that? Do you have a personal mission statement? I would say it's, it's be becoming illuminated to me. Um, similarly, um, my, my sense is that, uh, so one of the things I've, I've learned from other people telling me is that I elevate all the projects that I'm part of like when I'm on a, a racing team, uh, I'm usually not the one holding my arms in the air, winning the race, but my team is winning, you know, half of all the races we enter when I'm on the start line. And, you know, if someone starts a project and then I'm part of it, like it, it will succeed. And so um, there's an amount of, you know, how I elevate others. And I, and I do that through, through coaching and organizations that I, that I'm part of. And in this work that I'm doing, this, these interviews and, and studying, doing metaphysical experiments, doing high performance experiments, um, I, I'm really someone who processes lots and lots of information and ideas and experiences and then distills them down um, to, to, to little bits that I hope will expand and shift and elevate people's consciousness and awareness. Yeah. So those are, those are sort of two of the main things that, that I, that I do. I love that one. I love that. Like me, you're listening to what other people say that, you know, your skill set is, and they're asking for more of you elevating, elevating the team experience. But I also love that you can distill information because we have so much information in the world right now. So being a distiller is actually a really awesome trait. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing all of that. It's, yeah, it's fun for me. And it's, um, you know, I, there's another, there's a, this point here that we understand who we are a lot of times through relationship. Like, you know, both you and I are relying on other people to tell us who we are. Mm -hmm. And it's like in, in interacting with uh, Hu Yen, who you talked about, like you, you were shown a part of yourself and there's, there's so much 
um, like you can learn a lot about yourself being solo in nature and, um, but then, then a lot of it solidifies and condenses in relationship to other people as well. That's right. Hey friend, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this particular clip, then I have something else I want to tell you about, which is the League of Superconductors. It's a business mastermind that I run to elevate the greatest change makers of our time. That is people that I like to call quantum entrepreneurs, uh, metaphysical, spiritual teachers, healers, coaches, light workers of different types. And this is a year long business mastermind starting in May of 2022. So if that's the type of thing that you're looking for, if you're looking to better fuel your mission by having a business that brings in all the abundance you're looking for that both operates at the 3D level, serving the people of earth and at a multi-dimensional level, bringing in all of the higher wisdom and experience that you have access to, uh, that's, that's what we're doing. So if that sounds like something for you, then you can check out the link below, read a little bit more about the program, what we do uh, each month. And um, I also invite you to apply for a call with me, a strategy session. We can get to know each other. I'll coach you a little bit and you can decide if that might be the exact thing that you've been looking for. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.